What's going on guys? I'm at a campsite today and uh, I brought with me my AC200P Blue Yeti. Um, so this has 2000 watt and um, I'm gonna try to charge it with my newly acquired EcoFlow solar panels that are 160 watt. And um, I'm gonna show you guys how to hook it up and let's test out real world test to see what the output of these solar panels are. Now they're rated for 160 watts, so hopefully I'm gonna get about 80% of what is rated, and that's considered pretty good. Um, right now it's about a little bit past noon, um, so the sun is really, really bright shining down on me, and uh, let's see if we can hit 80% output for these solar panels. Let's hook it up. So these solar panels, they come with a case and the case could be used as a stand. So the case, one side of the case is hard and the other side is soft. But the solar panels itself is waterproof and it is very nice and hard and not bendable. Or I mean, I guess you can bend it, but you're not supposed to. All right. so set it up like this the Sun is this way so I'm gonna try to get it to face the Sun as much as possible uh, okay we got these hooks right here we're gonna hook it up MC4 connectors right here. I guess a lot of feedback that people have um, said is that um, the stand is a little bit awkward and it is true. It feels a little bit awkward to use the case as a stand because um, there's nothing supporting on the left and the right, just the center. Um, I mean, I, I've seen other people figure out some solutions to solve that, but anyways, it is what it is for now. So I got two of these solar panels and I'm going to hook them up in series. So I'm going to space them out, use some extra MC4 connectors to hook them up because these the MC4 connectors that comes with these solar panels are quite short. And just as a quick side note, even though I have a blue Yeti, I don't have to use their solar panels. Um, to hook them up. You can basically use any solar panel brands to hook up with any other uh, power bank. I'm going to put my Blue Yeti under the shade so that way it's nice and cool. There you go. Alright, I got a couple of cords here. Um, I got the PV cord that has a the outer end of an MC4 connector for the Blue Yeti. I'm going to hook that up to the Blue Yeti. And then these cords right here are basically used to hook up the two solar panels in series and then onto this cord right here. So to hook up in series, um, you can just uh, basically do uh, positive against negative and negative against positive um, when you're hooking up. You can't really get it wrong because uh, the MC4 connectors are kind of designed um, to be dummy proof. So here we go, let's hook it up. So I hooked up my wire for PV charging right here to the Blue Yeti and then I got the other wires right here that I'm gonna be hooking up. So it's a little short and I didn't wanna use my extension cable right here. So I'm just gonna undo this. It's doable. And then we're gonna take the remaining wires and just hook it um, hook it up and connect it. You can't get it wrong. Again, you can't get it wrong because MC4s are designed to for you, for it to fit. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but it is taking in about 139, 37 volts 
and that is very little what does that mean that means that I probably did not angle my solar panels correctly so I'm gonna reposition these solar panels to see if it will make a difference here we go okay so I've been moving it around and it seems like even though I lay it flat it's still not gonna do it um, so I think what you really need to do is really direct it really really well straight at the Sun like directly even 1% difference of an angle will make a difference so I want to try it like this to see if it's gonna make a difference making readjustment as I go I'm not even gonna bother hooking the bottom piece up because I want it to be at a very very flat angle like this okay that looks pretty direct at the Sun right now and then I'm gonna do the same for this one right here this guy over all right moment of truth all right guys moment of truth are we gonna get 80% or not here we go all right guys I'm gonna take a peek I'm gonna try my best to cast a shadow in the second panel here but it is showing 265 260 well average I'm not sure if you can see that on my screen that's one of the downsides to these blue yeti is that like it's the screen is really hard to see um, uh, in bright sunlight uh, I'm gonna leave it as this uh, we'll come back in like about an hour or two or maybe even four to see if my blue yeti would charge up it is at 35% right now so I'm gonna start my timer and uh, we'll come back and check on it okay um, let's see here all right here we go timer here we go start alrighty alright guys hey I'm back um, so it's been probably a little over two hours I'm gonna check my timer here two hours and 45 minutes it's been a while As you can see right here I have to move the panels um, to a different angle uh, I wasn't paying attention to it the whole time but like it wasn't really charging because of uh, when it's in the shade so I have to move it as you can see here I'm running out of space in my campsite um, to really charge it so it's got some shade right here but this is the only sunny spot that I got for this campsite uh, um, when I didn't have it in a sunny spot it was only charging at like a hundred and not even a hundred watts so but right now at this angle right here I think it's charging like about 230 so it's definitely not 260 watt um, like I was expecting earlier but that's fair okay so let's go and take a look at um, what the percentage of my battery is right now okay hey guys um, so I'm looking at the um, the Blue Yeti right now and it is about 63 percent and let's see it is charging around 115 110 watt right now because as you can see um, part of my solar panels shaded so that means that it's not operating at the full capacity which is a-okay I just gotta you know rotate it at another angle but realistically you're not gonna be staring at your solar panels and adjusting it every single minute that is a little bit off of angle so this is real life usage um, almost 30 percent in a little bit under three hours that's pretty good to me because uh, uh, you this blue yeti right here I I rarely use it more than 40% of its power um, in a, uh, each day. So 30% um, recovery of the battery life is pretty good. Uh, I would highly recommend these solar panels, these EcoFlow 160 watt solar panels. Um, they do a very good job. Now, I actually bought cheaper solar panels to try out before getting the EcoFlow uh, solar panels off of Amazon and I bought the cheaper solar panels for about $200 and they were 120 watt but they worked at home but they didn't work when I brought them to the camp there was a problem with the controller or something like that it felt really hot when I was trying to hook it up and get it to charge my Blue Yeti at camp so that was really disappointing now I got these 
EcoFlow um, solar panels for $300 each. Um, it is pretty pricey, but they're on sale right now. But they are worth the price in terms of the quality of the construction and the consistency uh, and it working to charge your uh, battery, battery pack. Um, they are waterproof and I believe they are the only um, solar panels that are waterproof right now in the market. Uh, if you guys can think of another solar panel that is waterproof, comment below. I would love to check it out. Um, they are very thin and uh, light in my opinion. Um, the only wonky thing about them is uh, this stand right here. It's a little bit wonky. Um, but you know so far it's been working out for me but I've heard comments that it doesn't hold up against strong winds. And like with anything when you're using solar panels um, you really have to move the solar panels and make it face the sun otherwise it's not gonna work um, you won't get the maximum efficiency and I know that might be a pain in the butt to move every time but it is what it is if you want the most out of your solar panels leave a comment below and remember to subscribe I'll catch you guys next time